Making a fade in or a fade out in sonar is quite easy. Let me begin by showing you this way. Each clip can be faded easily by holding your mouse over the corner till it turns into this symbol. You can simply drag it over. And then by right clicking on it, I can select from linear, slow curve or fast curve. Another way to make a fade out is through automation. We can do this by right clicking on a clip and select envelope. You can make an envelope for the whole track or just for one particular clip. Here I'll select track and select volume. Now you see it shows the current volume of the track. By double clicking on the line I can add nodes. Then drag this part down and that will make a fade out. While I'm here in this view let me just show you this. When you hold your mouse in different places the cursor turns into different symbols. This one indicates I can move this up and down to change the width of the track. If I hold it here it indicates I can drag it right and left. Now down at the bottom of the screen there's some controls that may have been hidden from you. If you grab down here and drag it up this is where you'll find your master slider. I'll move the view over here so you can see that. Now if I right click in this area and select an envelope here, we'll put an envelope right on our master track. Again, I'll add some nodes where we can fade out the entire mix. You can add as many nodes as you want. You can get quite creative here. And you can make an envelope for other things like panning or effects send. But I just want to show you another way to make a fade out. Since all my tracks go through this master bus, that affects the entire mix. Now let's look at adding effects to a track. Simply right click in the effects bin and select an effect from the list. This is known as an insert effect. You're inserting it right in the track. And that works fine, but here's a better way to do it. Down below the master section you have an effects send. And here I've added a reverb. Now let's go back to our track where you'll see we have the ability to send the signal right from here. I'll solo that track and turn on the send. And then I can adjust it to the amount I want. This will free up processing power since I can send as many tracks as I want into that reverb.